today we are gonna be watching i want out uh i think it was scam should be illegal now i know i haven't posted in a while and i'm getting on that but right now if the quality looks way better than what it did before it's because i'm recording on my iphone xr yes i got an iphone xr and i just got my tripod so those two go together <laughs> so um yeah let's get to the video twin sister used to share a single Neopet account, which was a dumb decision because it was completely free to make a second Neopet account, and we already struggled at sharing things in the non-virtual world. But the reason we co-ran our Neopet account was because we didn't want to put our pets through a divorce, and because we wanted to save up our Neo points for a paintbrush. For those of you who grew up with real video games and Neopets, a paintbrush was a super rare item that would change your Neopet's appearance based off the paintbrush you used. There were Christmas paintbrushes, baby paintbrushes, Guy Fieri paintbrushes, <laughs> and an invisible paintbrush that just turned your Neopet invisible. Why? Well, that when I said yeah. that paintbrushes were a rare item, I meant it. You see, your average Neopet paintbrush would sell for about one to two million Neo what? points, and the most me and my sister had ever saved up was about a hundred thousand. Why did you spend wow. 3K on food? We're trying to get paintbrushes. It was Flower 67's birthday, and you spent 4K getting that stupid jacket. The jacket <laughs> is cool, and you know it. One day, my sister went searching in the back alleys of the internet for other ways to obtain a paintbrush, and she stumbled upon this website that said, get free paintbrushes nah, and all she had to do was enter in her username yeah, and password and they'd scam. send us a fairy paintbrush Ooh. and in a moment of desperation she entered in the login details of our shared account into a shady website and you'll never guess what happened next we log into our account and there were three fairy paintbrushes in our inventory and just kidding we got hacked and we wow. lost all 100,000 of our Neo points, and we never got the paintbrush we were promised. But we learned a valuable lesson that day, which was people will try to scam you, so trust no one. Yep. We were lucky enough to only lose virtual money, but some people aren't that lucky. On the internet, you have to deal with people trying to scam you constantly. Yeah. There's probably comments underneath this very video of people using my name and That's profile so picture saying, click on this link and get a free gift card, and they always use a stupid amount of emojis so their comment sticks out more. I thought it was obvious that those comments were fake, but some people still fall for them. Listen, we need to get one thing straight about our relationship. If I ever use this many emojis. Oh my God. I want you to shoot me. Scammers <laughs> like to target non-tech savvy people, or what I like to call babies and baby boomers. There's a lot of things baby you can do to help prevent people from taking advantage of you on the internet. But my rule of thumb is that if something sounds too good to be true, it is. No one's giving out free gift cards. Your long lost uncle didn't wire transfer you money and you yeah. can't get free paintbrushes. You can't cheat the system, that's just life, man. Also, if you ever get a pop-up saying, your computer has a virus, call this number to fix it. Don't. A guy with an Indian accent named Jason will charge you real money to fix the virus, but won't do anything. Cause you never had a virus in the first place. But those are all illegal scams. People go to jail over those scams. Identity theft is not a joke, Jim. Millions of families suffer from it every year. However, there are some scams that are for some unknown reason, completely legal. And frankly, exactly. I think we should reopen Alcatraz for the people who do these scams. So here's my list for the top four legal scams that shouldn't be legal. The first legal scam is mobile games. I was doing a show with this nine-year-old kid named Araya, and in the show, he was gonna punch me oh, like yeah. this. And one I day while we were that. rehearsing, Araya asked me, can I play some games on your phone? So I gave him my phone and his dad told me, hey man, I don't even trust my kid with my phone. And I thought, What's the worst thing he can do besides tweet something or delete my YouTube channel? But he did something so much worse. He downloaded a free game, and inside the game, you could buy a VIP member version that gave you extra lives and more skins. The thing that was a scam oh, wow. was that the app gave you the VIP member free for three days, then charged you $6 a week. That's a dollar a day, not including Thursdays, to play some stupid mobile game. It's more expensive than a Netflix subscription and a tasty, hot and ready $5 Little Caesars pizza. Now, some yeah. of you might be thinking, okay, yeah, that's a ridiculous price for a mobile game, but yeah. that's not a scam. They tell you how much it's going to cost right there on the screen. But here's the thing. Roughly zero people bought the VIP member pass because they were fans of the game and didn't mind the price. No one is willing to pay a weekly bill for a game where all you do is this. 
But 100% of the people who paid for the subscription are kids using their parents' phone and bought the VIP pass because they have no concept of money. And you don't even have to enter in your credit card information, so it's easier for kids just to hit the purchase 6,000 gems button. It's targeting kids, and I don't like it. Scam. I wish I had the confidence of a mobile game developer to charge someone $312 a year to play their stupid game. My proposal to fix this scam is to ban mobile games entirely and everyone play Tetris 99. Nintendo Online is wow. cheaper than the VIP club subscription anyway. That's the second true, legal man. scam is college textbooks. We live in a society where all human knowledge and misconceptions are contained on the internet. But if you print out that knowledge and bind <laughs> up the pages, suddenly you made a best-selling book that people are required to buy. There are some textbooks that are just a CD or a code that you need a computer to even access the book. So what's the point of buying the textbook if True. you have a computer that's connected to the internet in the first place? And don't tell Going me that the off. books are better for people that don't have internet. I know you have an internet connection, because... Come on. My solution to this scam is to drop out and make YouTube videos. The third oh, legal wow. scam is psychics. I don't want to debate whether or not psychics are real because they're not. My horoscope told me so. My belief <laughs> is that no one can talk to dead people because we're not living in a cartoon. And it just True. makes me sick that there are psychics who are taking advantage of people who are grieving and are so desperate to talk to their loved ones again that they'll try anything even paying people to lie to them. Ooh, I burned my finger on that hot take. Now, I oh, don't wow. think that every psychic out there is trying to scam people. Most of them are. But I do think there are some psychics who legitimately believe that dead people use them as a vessel to talk to their living relatives. And in their three eyes, they are helping and giving their clients closure. I understand that a very small percentage of them are just trying to help but it doesn't matter because they're all fake. My solution yeah. to this scam is that you don't pay a psychic unless they can guess how much money you're going to pay them. Should be close to zero, hopefully. And the Guy. last legal scam is multi-channel networks. Wait, do you guys hear that? It sounds like bridges being burned. When your YouTube channel oh, wow. starts growing, you'll get contacted by a multi-channel network or MCN, and they'll make empty promises that if you join their network, they can help your channel grow and earn more money. And they'll brag about how many people are in their network when really that just means there's less of a chance they'll care about you. Exactly. And all you have to do to join is give them a percentage of your YouTube money every month. And once you sign your soul away, what a network will actually do is nothing except take a cut of your money every month. Yeah. It's like showing your dog a tennis ball and then pretending to throw it, and then when the dog realizes he's chasing nothing, he's already signed a three-year contract to keep chasing the fake ball. I know this last scam might not apply to everyone watching, but if this video helps at least one up-and-coming YouTuber to not join an MCN, then it will have been worth it. So that's my list for the top four legal scams that should not exist and die. I don't think this video is going to actually change anything. People will always be greedy and try and get money any way they can. Sure, so if there's anything you should take away from this video is that I'm giving away free gift cards. Click the link in the description to claim your prize. Nah, mm, good morning, everyone. I hope you enjoyed my list of the top four legal okay, so scams. So that was scams that should be illegal by odd ones out. And that was actually pretty funny. And we have it, um, well, he has recently uploaded, but I haven't uploaded that video. <laughs> so I might just upload that. I'm definitely gonna daily upload with a, a video game. So uh, yeah, <laughs> see y'all guys in the next video. Y'all like, comment, and subscribe. I'll see y'all on the next video.